आज जवाब देने का वक्त आ गया What's going on YouTube? Chicks there from Chicks Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on the brand new Elifaz Mini 3D Video Projector. Now this is a portable DLP video projector which also supports 3D. You have built-in Wi-Fi with a custom version of Android and the projector is capable of projecting your movies, games and videos on a massive 100 inch screen. So without further ado, let's just get it out of the box and see what it looks like. So inside the box you will find a zip up fabric case with a handle. So let's get this all out on the table. So this is everything you get in this set beginning with your instruction manual. You have a USB power brick and the voltage is 5 volts 3000 MA. Micro USB charging cable, a mini tripod with extendable legs, a small remote control which includes a 3D button on it. You will notice that no 3D glasses are included in the package. So this is a 3D projector, but you have to get your own glasses and these use the active 3D glasses. So you need to get active 3D glasses, not the passive ones. I will link the correct ones in the description box below for you guys. Last but not least, the projector itself. So I'm absolutely amazed of how small this is, first of all. Um, it fits in the palm of my hands. So you've got a matte finish on the top with a unique design in the middle. On the front, we have our projector lens and infrared port for the remote control, and you have some ventilation. On the side, you've got more vents, and on the back of the unit, we have another infrared port for the remote control, a headphone jack, HDMI in, so you can plug in more or less any HDMI device, such as your game console, PS3, PS4, Nintendo Switch, your Android TV box, your mini PC, your laptop, your smartphone, tablet, etc. And you can enjoy any of those devices on a massive large 100 inch screen. You got a USB port so you can play your movies directly off USB. You have an on and off switch there and a micro USB charging port. Now this is a very low powered device. You only need DC 5 volts so you can easily power this off a power bank. On the side we have a power button and your focus adjustment with some vents in the middle and that brings us back to the front. This is what the bottom of the projector looks like and you do have a very handy tripod screw at the bottom. Now this is an LED video projector, energy efficiency is 19 watts, lamp life is 30,000 hours, brightness is 100 ANSI lumens. The native resolution is 854 by 480, so that's a 480p resolution. Contrast ratio is 1000 to 1. Maximum optimal screen size is 100 inches, supports 3D, you've got built-in speakers and a two hour battery life. So without further ado, let me just get this all set up and give you guys a full demonstration. I'll be right back. So I've got the projector all set up. We are three meters away from that wall in front of us and we are projecting just over a hundred inches. I have my Nvidia Shield TV over here plugged into HDMI and I've also got my USB stick plugged in which has some 3D movies that I would like to test. So this is the main home screen you will see when you power on the projector. I'll quickly run you through it. You have a big green box which says media and if you press it you'll be able to access any hard drives that you might have plugged in. So we will be coming back to that. You then have an icon called HDMI, so if you press that, that will change the source to HDMI. You do have built-in Miracast and iOS Cast. So you can do iOS screen mirroring and Miracast for Android devices. You have two apps built in, YouTube and Koala. Koala is similar to YouTube, you have online videos free that you can watch. And if we go to Setup, I'll quickly show you what your options are. So you've got your Wi-Fi options, projection options, and you've got keystone correction, horizontal correction, and you can manually adjust the keystone if you want to. Now you've got advanced section where you can do local updates, you can restore to factory default, and you can even set the boot source to be either home or HDMI or media, depending on your preference. And the information tab will give you some details about the projector itself. Now we don't have any information on the Android version and also this Android version appears to be locked. There is no file manager so there's no way you can open up any sort of APK. So there's not much you can do with the built-in Android apart from opening these two apps and you also have Miracast and iOS Cast. So the first thing I would like to test is Miracast. So if I just open up the Miracast app and you should see my screen mirrored very soon. So anything I do now will be mirrored on the big screen. 
So I can open up any app, I can open up YouTube, Netflix. And you can see it works great. So let's go ahead and open up YouTube. There's a reason I'm sitting behind this desk running things. And you're out there with a partner that's 20 years younger than you. He was my friend. You're my family, James. No matter what. Stop, stop, stop. So next up we're going to test out the 3D capabilities. I have some 3D clips on a hard drive. I've got my active 3D glasses over here and we're going to try something out. So, okay, so you can see this is an SBS file. If I press the 3D button at the top, side by side, there we go. Wow, 3D is working absolutely fine. I'll put the glasses in front, but I don't think that's going to make a difference. Wow. So very impressed with the 3D capabilities of this projector. Now I'm going to jump into HDMI and we're going to get the NVIDIA Shield connected. So you can see for a 480p projection, the quality does not look bad at all. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had a boom. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Things look dire for Brad Strowman. Inverted DDT! What a stop! So there you have it guys, that was the amazing Eliphas Mini 3D projector. And the first thing I have to mention is this is the cheapest 3D projector I have come across so far. For around $200 this will give you a very good quality active 3D projection. This supports multiple 3D formats and you can play 3D content from YouTube, Kodi, USB drives, game consoles, Blu-ray players, etc. Once you play your 3D movie or game, you just have to press the 3D button on the remote control to activate the 3D. And I must say, the quality is very impressive. Now this projector does 480p natively and supports 1080p interpolated. But nevertheless, I was again very surprised to see that the projection quality was much brighter and clearer than I expected it to be. Even at 100 inches, I could walk right up to the screen and I could see no pixelation at all. So that brings me to my top LED video projector chart for 2019, showing you what's new and ranking them by a rating out of 10. So as you can see, the new Eliphas has secured position 7 on this chart with a rating of 8.7 out of 10. And you can view the full versions of all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. Now the internal speakers were high quality and sounded great, but the volume was not very loud. It was enough for a bedroom. However, if you were to use this projector in a large living room, then I recommend you to attach your own speaker system via the audio jack port. Now this projector has a built-in Android system, but this is unfortunately limited to just a few apps and some screen mirroring options along with your main settings. Whilst it would have been better to have an open Android system to play with, the HDMI port makes up for it as you can attach any Android TV box, Fire Stick, game console, etc. and enjoy those on a big screen with the added bonus of 3D support. Bottom line, a surprisingly good quality projection from a 480p projector, 3D, 2-hour battery, mirror cast, airplay, 
all of that equals great value for money and I absolutely love the portability and the fact that it comes with its own convenient carry case. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one, guys.